Hi, I'm Stan, WB2LQF. Today I'd like to give you a short uh, demonstration of a brand new enhancement to the Begali CW machine. I think it's the cat's meow. It's called a mill. And for those of you who may not be familiar with that term, a mill is what we used to call a typewriter with all capital letters. It was used by military radio operators and by commercial radio telegraph ops to copy their text. A lot of advantages to using a typewriter. You know, if you scratch stuff out on a piece of paper, especially above 20, 22, 25 words a minute, it's pretty hard. You're trying to write and a lot of the characters you're making are more than one pencil stroke. When you type it, every single character is but one stroke, one finger stroke. Also, after you've written it out at a very high rate of speed, sometimes you go back and you can't figure out quite what you've written down. Was that a one, an I, a slash, an L? Was that a two or a Z you didn't bother to strike? Is that an O or an unstruck zero? When you type, you don't have those problems. Now you'll notice that there are two boxes here. The bottom one is tinted yellow. That means it's active. The top one is white, but I can come up here, click on that, and make that active. Let me just clear out the existing garbage. All right. Now, in this top box, as I got my cans on and I'm listening to the receive CW, I can type it. All right. After I'm all done receiving, I want to go back to the fellow. I'm going to. Uh, just hit my key over here. Watch what happens. See, it also captures what I'm sending. And it also tells me if uh, I'm sending very well. See, I'm not. I didn't make a space between DE and my call sign. Shame on me. Drops down two spaces for separation. Now when he starts sending me code, I start typing again, drops down two spaces, and I go back to him. And we go on and on and on until the end of the QSO. Okay? Notice that there's a save and a review button here. I can either voluntarily save, or I don't have to do anything, and when I X out, of the CW machine, it will automatically save into an annual file my entire QSO. An annual file, sequence by date. Now think about that. Isn't that really remarkable? Every QSO, both sides of it, that I have in a year, I could potentially keep on a file and go back. Okay? And I can review it at any time. Now the bottom box is a bit more complicated and that's not part of uh, my presentation today. But if we make that active, it's from here that I can uh, I can uh, uh, add or, or repair a, a, a defective log entry, for example. Um, but most important, if I choose not to use a key, if I just want to be a keyboard CW op, which I'm not interested in that at all, but you can do it, all right? You can have pre-recorded messages up here with the F F2 through uh, F12 function keys. You can type what you want to send out, and uh, you don't have to use your telegraph key. For example, all right, I type something out. I come down here. I click on send. See? It's showing up right there in the top one. All right. Um, if I had a pre... There's a message. All right. A pre-written message in memory. I can just come down here and I'll hit uh, Shift and F2. And then I'll hit Send. There it comes.
How about that? <laughs> but that's not what I really want to show you. I want to show you what it's like to actually use it in a real Q cell, okay? So, let's move ahead. Okay, let's see how this operates here.
here we go got us an entire QSO here both sides okay now I can save it to a file saved in a special file okay or I can just X out phone always rings when you don't want it to isn't it amazing now if I bring up the uh, CW machine again okay and if we uh, go to review alright we see the uh, Okay, and there's the entire text, I know it's hard to read, of the uh, QSO I just had. It goes all the way out on the edge there, okay. And every line is either a received typed line by you or a sent line by you. And that's it. Not bad, huh? I'll tell you, I think that the CW machine is an outstanding device. Uh, it's a CW trainer that can take you from knowing absolutely nothing about Morse to uh, 60 or 70 words a minute. It can teach you uh, a lot of the uh, subtleties of Morse, such as copying in your head, copying ahead, and uh, it can really make a superior operator out of you that's just a CW trainer or you can use it as a logger automatic logger it'll hold up to 12,000 QSOs and you can either be a part of the logging process by adding the individual's name and uh, his location or you can just leave it completely to the CW machine to just automatically log without your inter intervention uh, just the highlights of the QSO the start date and time and end time and call signs and you know whatever else you need for a quote unquote legal QSO uh, it's also a fantastic uh, keyer with all kinds of specialized uh, options that you're not going to find in uh, a lot of other products that are out on the market uh, for example uh, it's got bug emulation mode I can take any of my paddles and make it look like a bug and then that way I can preserve my bug fist. Um, it'll work with uh, antiquated equipment, you know, with two or three hundred volts uh, grid or, uh, or uh, cathode keyed, or with the uh, newest solid state devices. Uh, it's got because it's isolation keyed. Uh, it, 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 there's so much to it. it. It really is a fantastic device. If anything, it's under marketed. Uh, it comes with uh, voluminous documentation, one whole documentation package for the uh, CW machine trainer and the other for the CW machine which is your keyer and your logger. It's uh, really a great investment for anybody who really loves CW and if you don't love CW stay as far from it as you can because it's not going to do you any good. So. Good luck, Happy New Year, 7-3s, and uh, this is uh, Stan, WB2LQF, off and clear.